B A I want you, I need you, oh God. I want you, I need you, oh God. Twice me, twice me, twice me, twice me. I want you, I need you, oh God. Twice me, twice me, twice me, twice me. I want you, I need you, oh God. Twice me, twice me, twice me, twice me. I want you, I need you, oh God. Twice me, twice me, twice me, twice me. I want you, I need you, oh God. Twice me, twice me, twice me, twice me. No more. Anybody there? Do you want to play a game? Play with me. What's up, friends? What's up, Jamie Dodge? How's it going, brother? What's up, Stevie? Oh, we got to get rid of a Bernardo Silva. <laughs> you know where that goes. Booty exchange. What's what's happening, friends? Or should I say, Wog One? <laughs> you know, bro. I'm working. Co-workers be like, "WTF? You watching?" I'm very sorry for the misunderstanding. Or <laughs> real FIFA vids. Maybe your co-workers should put some earbuds in and mind their own goddamn business. How about that? How about that? Maybe they should just let you do you, bro. You know? End up looking for some more prestige merch. Domain has been gone for a few weeks. Any update, please? Uh, it, it will come back when I've got genuine time to dedicate to it, like, properly. It's, it's something like... Like, when, when I work on passion projects, which prestige was... I like to just give it my all, and I just couldn't. And so, that was it. That, that was everything. Do you not play VPG anymore? I sure do. I have got some 80 seconds. Please give me some good commons. <laughs> Did I play the cup? I, I've got a couple wins in the cup, I think. Maybe one win, I don't know. Am I saving packs? I am, mate, yeah. I'm saving packs, but also I'm opening packs. I'm putting my high raid fodder. Does Tobias still manage my stuff? He does, mate, yeah. Um, I'm putting a high raid fodder in. Bish, bash, bosh. Into the exchange. The exchange into the player picks. The player's picks back into the exchange. So on and so forth, you know. I, I who have nothing. Whoa, I, I. Did I do Trossard? I did do Trossard, yeah. Oh, Oliver, don't. It's going to be in my head forever now. What a tune, though. Excuse me for a while. While I'm wide-eyed and I'm so damn caught in the middle. You enjoying the mystery ball aspect of the cup? <laughs> I wish I had the patience to bang out like 500 player picks. Mate, you just got, got to have some... Like, somebody in the chat is going to tell you what tools you need to use that are not suntanned to help you. Ah! Cristiano Ronaldo. What's up, David M. No Breaker? What happened with the cup in the end, Dave? Like... Oh, man, there was so much controversy with it anyway. If you didn't get in, you might have honestly done yourself a favour. Excuse me for a while. While I'm wide-eyed and I'm so damn caught in the middle. Is it common knowledge that playstyles don't work in this new cup? It is not. I did not know that. Playstyles don't work in the new cup. How, how, was, how, did, how did you... How, how did people figure it out? Jolan, thanks for the 11 months, man. Much appreciado. Happy that you got your 10 wins in the cup. The pain's over. See, for me, I've got to focus on uh, 
on rivals before I focus on the cup. Cup's there for plenty of time. I need to get those rivals wins in. Hopefully even get up to elite division as well. Yeah, I don't know. We're not in girth and turf, I guess, unfortunately, with the utmost respect. I have no idea of the quality of the clubs in it. Yeah, I, I, I talked about it in the RTG today, actually. Um, or yesterday. And I talked about it on stream. That's delightful, isn't it? They they seem to think that like anybody that has played for or has joined VPG ever is like some elitist pro player. And that's just... That's like saying that like playing champs qualifiers makes you a you know twenty and zero champs cup player, and it, it's it's just not it. Hopefully, it like this will just kind of shed some light. And uh, but the, the the other side of the coin is I completely understand what Ginge wants. He wants a content creator tournament that's light, that's fun, that's engaging. Doesn't want like a mass of sweats and stuff like that. So I kind of I kind of see it from both sides. But yeah, hopefully for the next one there'll be a little bit more clarity and understanding. Of it, <laughs> which just means that all all of your all 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 of the I am Lucy Bronze boys need to fire up a stream, even if it's to one viewer. Just be just be a creator, innit? How do I have so many packs? Just just save them, mate. To be fair, that's sure. I, I told you, Josh. Like when I sent it to you, it was picking up about one thousand a minute. Yeah, see now it's up to sixty k. It was like every time I refreshed, it was like eight hundred to a thousand. That's why I sent it to you, and I said it's going like it's going like FC twenty four viral. It should get like 100, 200,000 views at this rate, which is banging. I took the worst team in all of FC20. I took 20. the worst team. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Me and my friend Palatals are about to... Uh, there's this guy I know called Palatals that's uh, really good at menu grinding. And um, he helps me a lot. Menu grinding on share play for picks. So I have to just back out of the game um, to, to really, really quickly allow him onto my account to, like, build, build the picks via share play. No community tots. Yeah, I, I think that was, like, already a given, right? With no vote already, team of the season warm-up here, the, live, the team of the season live is probably going to be the thing. <laughs> And, and do you know what? I'm, I'm about it. I'm about it. They, they should do something different with Team of the Season. It's been so, like, been the same format for, like, eight years. I'm 100% I'm okay with it being different. My mate Pale Tools absolutely slapped League SBCs for me, too. Yeah, see, now there's... Huh, I've started... Uh, he, he told me about this thing, right? Uh, templates. Oh, he's good at templates. He's, he is a strong template builder. Pale Tool was my mate before your mate. Yeah, but I've no I've I've spent more time with him than you have. So <laughs> basically we're best friends. You live one oh, all right. All right, so hold on. I show no speed says I live one out one house over from Lucy Bronze mum. She lets me know every day who her daughter is. I'm like, I know I went to school with her every bloody day. Do me a solid. Get I Am Lucy Bronze to do a little bit for I Am Lucy Bronze Pro Clubs Club. Finally figured out how to get a rare nearly every time. Bloody game changer. Wait, you could just... Uh, well, my, my, my mate, my mate Palatals gets a rare from the template. He's well good at the template rares. What's up, Azzy boy? How you doing, brother? All right. All right, I'm up to... I don't, I don't know how many player picks we got there, but... Team of the season verified. I make Palatals opens all my shit packs for me instantly, too. Yeah, but he just doesn't deal with them very well, does he? Sometimes you still have to deal with them. So, see, look at that. Bang. Straight up. Bosh, give me the 87 rated. Straight back into the exchange. Free gang. Use me for a while. While I'm wide off. And I'm so damn... He dealt with all my dupes lovely, I have to say. 
I, I, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to get on to him. I'll have to get on to him to sort start sorting my stuff out. I don't spend much time with him this year. To be fair, our only common ground is fight, and I haven't been on much. I told you, mate. I'm a, I'm a better friend than you are. Come on, yeah, 85s are all right, but give me, give me, give me a little something, something more. Give me some, give me 189 at least. Dun dun dun. <laughs> give me, give me 189 at least. Give me, uh, give me 189 at, at least. Give me like 189 at least. Ah. Okay. Started off so well with an 87, didn't it? It's just uh, La Bonta. Hey, il chai hunduan. Tony Crows. All right, we got we got some stuff back here. Nothing crazy. Hey, there we go. 88 Bastoni. Give me some of that. Three walkouts in a row. We we did all right here actually, like a lot of eighty fives. A lot of eighty fives. What is it? Like seven? What do you get for that? Twenty nine, thirty six, forty seven, fifty eight, sixty five, seventy two. And 19 there, 82, 91 players back, which would build another 11 player picks plus the other fodder. It's not bad from from 21 player picks. It's not bad. It could be better, but it's not awful. Which packs am I open? Which packs am I saving? So anything, so 83 by 10s is like the bottom of what I'll save. 83 by 5s, 83 by 3s, 83 by 2s I'm opening. 82s buy anything I'm opening apart from the very specific FX packs. Uh, I even opened, and I'll open one more if there was one. Yeah, I even opened these. Like, th these are shit, aren't they? Like, I, like it's, it's a fun thing and that, but these, honestly, I'm, I wouldn't be wasting my, my space to, to save this crap. Um, so, basically, anything that's not minimum rating 83 or above, and anything that's not... Um, like, see here, like, this isn't 83 and above, but it's a specific position pack, so I'll save that as well. Um, so, yeah, that, that's kind of what I'll be... Uh, kind of what I'll be saving. The Premier League. Hey, inform. Go on in, go on in. Van Dyke as well. Love that. Inform me the ma. I've not got enough fodder to craft everything. Um, Surely, surely you've got like... When I was looking at what I had available today for the exchange, the 89 exchange, surely you've got a load of crap you can put in here. I would not put 90s and above in now um, because we're going to get a new exchange hopefully on Friday. And hopefully EA will add 90s, 91s, team of the season specifics and stuff. But in terms of like my 89s, I'm more than happy to just dump into the exchange right now. We've got... Van Persie. Maybe even that Hullet at this stage. Konate and Acuna can go. Uh, Cullen can go. Grimaldo can go. Bellerin can now go because he's. Oh, I've already done what I need to do with him. Donnarumma, Dybala can go. McKenny and Ogbené can go. Like, surely you, surely you have these players to put into the exchange to like start the cycle up again. Um, surely, surely, surely. You've sent most of these objective cards a long time ago. Then you are just mismanaging your account. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not enjoying. The formations I'm playing at the moment, guys. I can't find. I'm, I, I kind of want to go back to a four-four-two. Right, I don't know if. Uh... I 
can't get 442 directly out of this. Need McKelly and Bellerin to complete Moani. Yeah, I've done Moani already. They completed important. Yeah, fair, fair enough. If you already used them in SBCs that like mean something to you, that makes makes a lot of sense, obviously. Um, you want? I'm yelling timber. Mohammed El Nani. Probably, probably line up like that with this team. I just, I just don't know what I want. Stay back on Ben White, yes, because he's slow. Don't want to stay back on Cole. Just want balance. Let's do come back on Rosicki. Let's do basic on Trossard. We want to stay back on Mohamed El Neni. Cover center. Get into the box. Stay central, stay forward, stay central, getting behind. Yeah, it's all right. On whatever side you want, have the winger on cut inside, and then the full back on the same side, join on the attack overlap. I need I need to find a way to play, though, Dave. I haven't even found a way I want to play. Like, sometimes I do the slow build-up stuff, and I enjoyed it. But then sometimes I'm like, I get caught out loads by just, like, not having... Sometimes I'm, like, trying to counter, and I'm like, okay, I've got one guy with me. All right, okay. This would be nice to have a bit more like direct passing and maybe even balanced uh, build up play. The winger on cut inside. Ball back. Same side. Join attack. So I'd have him to join attack. So him to cut inside. Four back like this just doesn't have enough forward. Even when I was playing with like the other formations and stuff, just, it just I, I was just I was just like I say, like I'm I'm struggling to find the way I want to play the game this year. And a lot of that struggle actually comes from the fact that I want to use these players, but they don't suit the style of play I try to play. So then I have to start putting in the Cafus and the Drogbas and stuff that suit the style of play that I want to play, but then they're not the players I want to use. And it, it's just a bit of a Bit of a farce, really. I tell you what, let's uh, do a rival. Do you anticipate the live cards will all have three playstyles? Yes. I'd like to hope that they all have three playstyle pluses, yeah. Well, All the right. weather forecaster has what are we us against? An Ultimate team. Football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek team of the year, Allison. Red Angie. Team of the year, Rodri. Cool. The, 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 Eva, the decent Evo Armstrong. It was a 4 4 2 in defensive, I think it was, wasn't it? Otherwise, I'm done. <laughs> like, I think the way I want to play is like nice build up through the midfield, but then in the. Back line. Does this guy seriously put his pad down? And here's the starting lineup for the founders. Well, the front three have a really good understanding in this 4 3 3. They combine well, they have good individual qualities and are clever with their movements. Oh, Stuart, say it better. But then when we get to the front, like I wanna I wanna have options in the box. I want like I want players I can uh why will it not give me where's Yuri and Timber? And deciding to go short with this one. Yeah, I want to have players that I can cross the ball to. Um, what's this guy doing? Well, most of us can only dream of having the skills Dennis Bergkamp possesses. Stuart, interested to get your take as regards what he might produce today. Well, we know he's a top-class player. Almost the ball of dreams, isn't it? That's where he's at his very best. And he's got so many techniques. He can hit through the back of the ball. He can wrap his foot around it or just chip it over so I'm, the I'm ball. Kind of like, he certainly score goals if given the chance to yeah, This is my biggest problem with defending, man. Just keep... The high percentage option to try your luck from there. Is it true that Salah is going to Saudi Arabia? I don't know how you think that I would know the answer to that question. Well, 
just overplayed it and comfortable for the keeper. Really good challenge. A creative look about this. Whoa! Whoa! It's gone out for a throw in. I greened that as well. Ashley Cole. On to Cole. Well, there to intercept. Rosicki. Hey, it wasn't even. He was marking the runner, man. Timo Werner. Trossard. Now veering in field. Oh, he'll take us oh, on. Eddie. Oh, he close. can't hold on to it. Well, nothing on toward happened. Carlos Alcaraz. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Can Up you get it, check. Up. Up you get it. Catch it. And Thank eventually, you. goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the rules. <laughs> See, this guy plays with like four men back what the whole time. Say that was. And Rosicki being afforded far too much room here. It's there for Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Give me that finesse shot, pass, that baby. Classic example of how to intercept. Oh, I can drive that pass through there. Georgia Stanway. Carlos Alcaraz. And that was a very fine read. And the referee allowing the game to flow using advantage. What can they do from here? Now with Rosicki. What an awful pass that is from Rosicki, to be fair. Werner. And on to Beckham. Beckham. And the founders recovering possession well. You we can all play a lot, mate. Thierry Henry. Armstrong. The ball with Rodri. They've regained possession. Henry. Henry. <laughs> Red timed that, didn't I? I should have just finessed it. He pulled his keeper so far out. Struggling to keep the ball. Armstrong. Decent looking pass. Beckham. Can he get them level? And he's got and scored to level as Oh, so annoying. I tackled him like three times there. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Released it nicely. Rosicki. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Werner. David Beckham. Rodri. Reese James. Well, possession seeded. Ashley Cole. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Holland is overrated. That's a crazy statement. 
Uh, David, thanks for the 15 months, man. I've always appreciated your unfiltered thoughts on this game. Thank you. And how to make it more enjoyable for us part-time players. I've run a full Italian to glory this year. It's been a lot of fun. Not champs. Just not champs successful, but who really cares? Literally, who cares, mate? Keep up the great grind. Look forward to more content. Thanks very much. Thanks for the 15 months, David, as well. I appreciate that a lot, man. Bring on Nenny off. Oberon. Nah, Watkins is crazy. Wait, so you, Lucas, you're saying Haaland is overrated. Watkins is crazy, even though Haaland has done things that Watkins hasn't in the Premier League. That's fair enough. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. But it's it's funny to see people's like inability to just appreciate a quality player because they feel like it diminishes the kind of achievements of another player that they particularly like. William Saliba. Bit of face. So a throw in here. Tomasz Rosicki. It's, it's this level of player again. I just always struggle against. The second man press people. Respectable first half showing from David Beckham. Stuart, what did you make of him on the first can he finish it here? Palms away by the keeper. I've tried to get that out of my feet straight away. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and can they forge ahead? And he caught a I've genuinely done a masterful tackle. Elastico fake there. It just hasn't done anything for me. Ball to switch the play. Well, that ball looks promising. Not forcing the issue. Great composure. Dennis Bergkamp. Nketia. Oh, he'll take us on. That's got to be a goal, man. Well, we gave it the big build 99 shooting, you know. Deliver on his promise. Now with Cole. Cole. Werner. And passing it through. Chance to put them in front. Still possibilities. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. Tossard. Camp and Ketia has it, and he has options available. Can he take advantage? Go on, and a goal. Go on Dennis Powell. <clears throat> Manning Town, thanks for the three, brother. Do we think that Evo's achieved their goal to make people end up running different teams? Not really. For some, yes, but for the majority, no. Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2 1 lead as things stand. Rodri. <laughs> now with Rosicki, it's looking promising. And a significant you go, Eddie. Block following that cross. Point, point, the point. Had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Park. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it.
Founders no, moving ben. the ball forward. What can they do from here? A really good pass. Oh, I've got to nod that so down into the half of the, the Dennis there, haven't I? Real chance. Oh, what a, what a bang. Erdy, Erdy, Erdy. Armstrong. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Werner. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Might be a chance to break. Well, when you're leading, you can afford to be pass happy. Uh, quick thinking to win it back. Nketiah. Oh, big chance. What is that for a cross? I know Nketiah has not got good crossing stats, but Jesus Christ, that's unreal. So, deflection, and it will be a throw in. And well positioned to clear. Well, good idea, but the execution wasn't quite those. right. Ben White. Pressure applied. Referee. Word. Play on, mate. Play on. Bergkamp. Rositsky. Good looking cross. <whistles> Corner coming up. Good refereeing. Waiting for a natural break. What's up, uh, I'm Bowsy. How you doing, brother? I'm Bowsy. Delivering it. It's Was it a great awesome. clearance? Gotcha. I'm yelling. Timber. Whoppa! Almost, almost. Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Close hit. Go, go, let's go. Oh my days, baby. Go, 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 That's my new goal sound. Scott, thanks for the four months, man. Have I tried doing curve through balls with incisive pass? I don't even know how to do curve through balls, mate, to be honest. GG's Monty. That was a good game for me, wasn't it? I've sold 4,000 common gold contracts this week. They're selling with no one over. Damn, that's actually a great shout, to be fair. I'll test it, guys. I'll let you lot know if it works, all right? You, you guys don't do it. I'll test it. L2 triangle. Gritty is crazy. Mate, ask chat. Ask a chat. Gritty Tuesdays. Gritty Tuesdays, mate. Damn. They like Insta selling for, for 200. L2 R1. Triangle, precision, curve through ball. L2, L2 and triangle. Okay, I'll give it a try. Actually mad. But again, like here's, here's my problem with that, Dave. I'm sure they are mad. So 
but I just don't know who I'm going to be aiming the pass to. Like, and I know it should be situational, but because it's going to be a new mechanic I'd want to learn, I'm going to be sitting there going like, all right, let me force it, let me force it, let me force it. Let's list some, let's see what happens to them. Uh, right, Ashley Cole. I think I need like two more wins, three more wins, something like that to finish him off. Yeah, three more wins for Ashley Colt. Win two by at least three goals. Let's go. Oh, that goal that I scored at the end was actually uh, impactful for that then because it completed him there. And then we've got three days to do these, but this is easy. Play two rivals, win two assists, four. I could do that in squad battles as well. That'd take me like literally 20 minutes. Play two, win two, win two by three goals. That squad battles, that's another 20 minutes. So it'd take me 40 minutes for each one here. And then play to, I suppose, I suppose actually I've got to do, yeah, might not, might not get the wins actually. It might, it might take me a little bit longer than that. And then play four. It's not, it's not too long. Shouldn't, shouldn't take more than like two to three hours maximum for each, each player. Damn, I'm on a streak, guys. I'm on a streak. With my ass. Who's got incisive plus plus? Burkamp and Rosicki have got incisive plus. I don't really have. Oh, Rossar's got whipped and long ball. Fair enough. I didn't know. And I don't have. Uh... I need to use Ben White's long ball a little bit more. Am I finding Timber? Mate, mate like he's, he's good as a defender, but I don't get to use his playstyle pluses because I don't like his, his heading accuracy. Like he just doesn't stand in the box for corners. <laughs> so, uh, well annoying because I feel like I'd score loads of goals with him. How's check? Banging. He is banging. Searching. Come on. Come. Get him short pass. And welcome, and Back to corner taker then far post. Always seems to be there. Oh, maybe I'll try that. No rain in sight. This guy got Van der Sar, Vidic, Varan, Renange. Oh, Man United fan. The technical and tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have Man United past and present. Love to see that. Rivals match on the menu. It's the founders, and they take on the founders. Well, they've been excellent recently. They've played some great football, and they've been hard to beat. Let's hope these fans see another good performance today. Now, what can the founders do from this wide position? Yeah, I do that all the time, man. That bite. I don't know why. Here's the starting lineup for the founders. Edwin van der Sar begins between the posts. Uh, Rafael Varane over to this side then. Alongside Nemanja Vidic in central defence. David Beckham starts alongside. You mean that? In central midfield. And I mean, Bergy was Tevich running. Starts with Dimitar Berbatov through the middle. Not the pass he had in mind. I didn't, get, I didn't put enough power on that one, did I? White. Well, that one has promise. Henri. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Well, it certainly is a big day for him as he brings up the half-century mark in terms of appearances for the club, Stuart. Well, most importantly, he's played well in most of those 49 games before today, and I would say he's getting better and better all the time. He's certainly oh, press balls into Nketiah there. Guys, tell, tell me this, right? Am I right or wrong? Oh, dear. Uh, Mohamed Elneny looks like a lemming. Am I right or wrong? 
Mohamed El Nene equals Lemming. Look at his hair. I'll pause it. Next time I've got the ball on him as well, I'll pause it. He looks like a fucking lemming, the way he runs, man. It's, it's not even the way he runs. It's his hair. His hair is just so weird, and I can't figure out why EA have done it. Look at him. Look at his lemming hair. Look at his lemming hair. What's happening to it? Woman, well, it was at 16th minute. At times they make passing oh look easy. And it was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Up and trot. Tevez. That's a good ball. There's so many people in the chat right now going, what the fuck is a lemming? you guys haven't played lemmings honestly you've missed out look at look at his stupid lemming hair pass it back to him hold on oh, it doesn't do it in the close-up replay it only does it in the uh, actual game He's given them a corner. Let's see about the delivery. It might still be problematic. Happy to That's an effort. I pressed tackle there, but I knew, I knew as soon as the ball bounced like that, I knew it wasn't going to let me tackle the ball. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Tevez, Berbatov, in position. Mate, what is happening? Oh, my days. I've paused it. I've come back out of the pause. It's like fucking barn delay. What is happening? Timber. Elneny with it. Trossard. Nope, I did a hilt. I, I did a oh, stop and turn. L2 triangle one time for the boys. Yeah, I did it like four or five times already. That's a legitimate thing, by the way. It needs to be studied. Do you reckon, like, honestly, like, I, could, like, I felt a change. Anyway, let me just focus on playing the game. That there, I knew. I knew as soon as the ball bounced. I pressed tackle, and it just it lunged my player right out of the way. And that was in no small measure due to the effect of press. Here's one Bisaka. Using space on the opposite flank now. A really good pass. Thwarted there, and what a piece of defending we've just witnessed. Not working for me, that's cool. Burkham has been through there, should have gone over the top. And he has yeah. options available. And he's broken free. Oh, magnificent reaction. Really good challenge. Best. And Kessia. The possibilities inside the box. Could Eddie, work. man, come on, bro. Well, if they can just get one, it will certainly make it interesting. <laughs> I've got to green that really, but also 99 shooting for their shot from there off of a skill move. It's got to be on target, isn't it? Didn't look brilliant in possession, El Nene. And the founders nope, moving that's the ball game. forward with purpose. Regilon. 
best. Tevez. Can they put it away? But it just pees it out. Well, I have to say, that was a fine save, which just about keeps this game alive. Outdoing his opponent. Part of the final analysis. I mean, it was honestly, guys, ending. this game's gone fucking mad. This looks promising from the founders. Rositsky. And playing it back. Given away by the founders. Well, literally just passed the ball the like player lock sorry there and it like Rosicki that I player locked off of just glitched off of the ball best oh what a top notch pass Berbatov real chance and a really good diving stop you got two rivals wins in 15 damn Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, and so it is. Oh, the first half story oh. has been written. Friday is going to be a beast of a team. Yeah, I saw. Didn't, didn't the full team get uh, get announced already? Like leaked or whatever. Did it? Put Sheriff Leak it? I can't see it actually. You watch my 6 pm videos every night. Thanks, uh, MZ Less, man. I appreciate that, bro. Well, the ball is rolling. Gameplay for rounds here yesterday. Yeah, like gameplay has honestly been all right for me today until I just paused the game a second ago. After pausing the game, it honestly felt like the gameplay changed. Which I know is just it. I know if somebody said that to me, I'd be like, "Shut the hell up! Stop making excuses and just deal with the fact you can see the two goals." But it genuinely just feels like I can't pass, I can't move anymore, just off of the back of that pause. And I conceded two goals, like directly after I, I paused the, the game. Look, see now I'm trying. I'm just trying to get my centre back. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get my centre. No, the other centre back. I flicked the stick towards him like four times, and it just fucking bounces around the other two players. Unbelievable. As if he's read that there. That's wild. I would have never read that cut back there. Drogba. Okay, that was an elastic. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Now, who can he play it to? Drogba. It's there for him. Nah, nah I'm sorry. That's bollocks. I didn't actually move that inside spot there. For more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. He landed really heavily on his shoulder there. You can see the discomfort he's in. He's a tough guy. I think he'll carry on. Cheers, Jeff. And he saw the situation developing. Tomasz Rosicki. Danger averted for now. Yuri and Timber. Now with Rosicki. 
No, get, I've literally aimed that fucking forwards, EA. This is a battle against the game this time, guys, to just score a goal. Not against my opponent. You can have his win, whatevs. This is a battle against EA Sports, who are trying their best to stop me from just playing the simple thing here. That player, like, I've, I've got, like, whatever my player switching setting is, it doesn't really matter, right? I've literally, like, when he had the ball in the corner there, I flicked downwards on the right analog stick to move in. And it, I don't know what, I can't remember where it went. Then I flicked downwards again to try and get the front centre back that I had to cover exactly what he did with that cross. And it pinged it up to the guy further out the opposite way. So I pressed downwards again and it went back to the initial player that it switched to. And then when I finally got it down to a defender, it skipped the defender I wanted and went to the, the defender at the far post. And it's like, God damn, man, like li literally just give me the defender that is obviously appropriate for what I'm trying to do. Pressed and pressed high. Brilliant. And possession lost. Brilliant. Intercepted. Under Herrera. Eric Cantona. Brilliant. No, I love that. Cantona. Beautiful pass. And well positioned to clear. Thank you. Good weight on that pass. Oh, that's the problem with Thierry Henry. He just doesn't have it in situations like that. Just doesn't. In a decent position now. Well, very effective play in possession. There is the goal! My keeper's even that side of the Joy fucking goal, EA. And there to intervene. Tomas Rosicki. Look at that. I can't literally can't move. What the hell, man? Cup has been the worst thing you play. I, I really enjoy the cup. Now delivering that deep cross. Yeah, see, once again, well, that was Kibior at the back post. It wasn't uh, wasn't Yuri and Timber again. Kicking himself, Stuart. Well, it's a poor effort, but he's been given offside, so he's got away with that one. Henri. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Cantona. He's in behind. Well, he was on his own. But couldn't take advantage of it. Well, I'm not Massive surprised. Massively the ridiculous that. store packs. Really looked in complete control, did he? What for? Henri well, not being able to catch on to a loose ball. Give a wild take, but okay. Man, I'm disappointed to uh, be losing 4 0 to this guy. Drogba has it. Henri. Ashley Cole. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. And we've entered the final. He's literally just had minutes. two or three men at the halfway line the whole game. Counter attacks, counter attacks, counter attacks. All I, all I ever can see, too, genuinely. Maybe the odd set piece here or there. Hey, see that again? Like, I've turned inside, hit a power pass, a driven pass there. And Rosicki has just, like, taken a touch on the inside before hitting the pass. The chance they could get caught out on the break here. Ginola have to pay attention defensively. Don't touch it. They go out. Clear to see who got the last touch. What do I think of the new champs rewards? Do we know what they are? And teammates around him. Mate, hello. Hello. EA. What the hell? Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Henri. Nicely cut out. Well, that is going to go down as an own. What a toxic prick. Goal by the keeper. 
And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment. I'm not playing Rivals 4. Uh, the rewards and the evolutions. Wait, how, how, like, honestly, how I only managed to get one shot. 144 passes from me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> They've changed the Evo page. Oh, wait. Foot.gg has changed the Evo's page? Or Footbin? Oh, they've got foot.gg and got an Evo Lab now. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that uh, that entails. Pretty cool. You have to, might take a little bit to get head around, but. Camps rewards on X from EA. Otherwise, X is a fucking massive place, and I would struggle to find them. What's up, Mark? How you doing, man? Am I opening packs? Oh, I'll be opening packs uh, Friday, yeah. I think it was on Donk's page. No. I don't see it. He said we're getting red picked back um, for Team of the Season, which is cool, but I think that might just be squad battles and rivals. He deleted it. Which means the information he got, I guess, must have been uh, must have been incorrect. Watch your vid on the FX packs after I made over 200 of them. Regret it now. Open them up as they're awful. Yeah, open them ASAP, uh, Matty, and just get through them. Get as much fodder as you can and, and, and go back to the player pick exchange method. It's way better. Way better, in my opinion. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. Right. A warm the Militao's men. I'm Derek the Gray in men. the commentary position. And alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is a foot rivals match on the menu. It's the founders versus the absolute mad lads. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude around. today is the big question. Hey, how? Can he put it in? Oh, how? Why is my centre-back skating and backwards instead of turning around to run, man? Didn't he just? Hey, Pete, Pete, look. Park? He would, oh, for fuck's Foden. sake. It was teams just really like tackle. they hit me so hard, man. It's crazy. Yeah, that I, I can't lie, Dave. That's pretty shit. Now, that's about the fourth time I've tried it into massively open space, Foden, and it just hasn't worked out at all. White. How is this guy getting his players to like fucking suck me off so quick? As soon as I've got the ball, he's got everyone sprinting at me. And Kessia released it nicely. Could pull one back here. It could be up for grabs. And the danger. That is a wild, wild. Well, you feel they needed to score there just to and it's because he knows he's got whatever press he's got. From the goalkeeper. It was just like, let me just get the ball up the field. Burkamp. In the right place just not aimed at there with Burkamp. Pass. Okay, I'm going to have to restart the game off. And 
the lads have possession again. Th th this guy's this guy's strategy is let me get you to have the ball with your defence because my team is just going to press like absolute fucking madmen, and I'm going to steal the ball off of you. Ben White, Tomasz Rosicki. Nicely cut out. Wait, I cannot even turn it. Phil Foden, guys. Fuck me, EA. He, he can't defend like this with fucking attacking players, Jesus Christ. Well, he's certainly not alone. There's no... I've, I've power passed that. He's going to be offside. I've power passed that to the far post. That is a joke. But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. This guy's strategy is genuinely let me get the ball to your defenders so that I can press you hard. Rosicki. Nicely cut out by Desai. White. That's a good ball. William Saniba. And Founders pushing forward with options available. And Kessia. It should be. There's no way he saved that. That's a joke. That is a joke. Such a good save in the end. Short corner it is. And it's played into the centre. And a relatively straightforward <laughs> save for the keeper. Foden. He's just going to do it again, isn't he? He's literally just going to punt the ball out of the field. Rodrigo. Because he doesn't mind me having the ball. It through. Good use of advantage there. And he scored the I'm sorry, guys. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I've missed two banker chances because he's, he's somehow his keeper's made like wild saves and he's hitting a shot from there and Czech can't save it. Like, that's a joke. Tomasz Rosicki. Rosicki. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And a corner kick the referee's verdict. No. I've aimed that to the edge of the box, EA. thinking defensively. An off foul game. Played. Trossard. Gianluca Viali. No, like, how am I not winning? How? Like, free kick awarded uh, by the referee. Roberto Carlos. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. He continues his run. A really good pass. No, I've power really passed that again. Play. Fuck off. Oh, good hands there from the keeper. I'm driven passing that to the guy in this fucking space, EA. Delightful pass. And that is defending of the highest order. Dennis Bergkamp. Unbelievable. Mbappe didn't win player of the month. Was Mbappe expected to win player of the month? Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Firing it towards goal. Look at that. I've pressed pass. Oh, wow. What the fuck is happening? Roberto Carlos cleverly intervening. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. And the managers will now deliver their halftime team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game.
Yeah, this, this is like honestly, the, the I'm on six ping and it feels like feels like crazy. It like, feels like I'm playing in mud, man. This guy's made 46 passes, guys. 46 passes. I can't believe it. More goals, more assists. I thought he would have had it in the bag. He didn't play all the games, though, did he? And PSG didn't win all the games. Off and running once more. And in that first 45, sublime football from the lads. Will we see more of the same? Oh, my days. Look at that touch. Nah, I'm sorry. This is a joke. Really good build up, but no end product. Ben White. A tremendous vision. Ginola, real chance. There's one. Oh, yes. exactly what the I, I, I sadly think, guys, Henri is not uh, real chance. not up to scratch anymore. I can't believe. I literally can't believe I haven't got the ball there. I fucking pressed tackle when he when he overcommitted with Viali there. I pressed tackle and the defender just watched him. That one there. He overcommits here. Whatever he does it, I've pressed tackle here. What the hell happens to my centre back? He literally moves out of the fucking way. What is that? I press tackle there. Look, he just. He literally just. What the fuck? Unbelievable. Literally unbelievable. Absolute mad lads are running away with this. Good through ball. Awesome. There, his Phil Foden's got some fucking defensive master boost on this game. David Ginola. Now, the absolute mad lads regaining possession. I just want Cole EA. Thank you. Good use of advantage. Must be. Well, they've solved the problem. And the keeper really reacted brilliantly. Well, from that sort of range, it's a great save, I have to say. And there's the feed into the box. Was it a great clearance? He could really get at the opposition. Ginola, well, couldn't Do you know what? I knew he was going to be offside because that pass was for Nketiah. And I thought, oh, OK, it's squeezed through to Ginola somehow, even though I didn't aim it there. And then, lo and behold, it didn't make any difference. Clean challenge. Drogba. 30 minutes to go then. I'm actually real sad to be losing to this guy, guys. DDA Drogba. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Well, the absolute mad lads have it once again. That's nicely done by Jairzinho. My defender is right fucking... My defender is... Oh. He's put it away. A celebratory moment. This guy's just a bad player. He's just a bad player. I, I, I'm, I, obviously, I'm not... not Covering myself in glory, losing 5-1 to him either. But he's been, uh, he's been saved by 71 depth and over-the-top chip through balls. I was going to put an incoming... I've, I've genuinely been fucked by the game here. Like, I, I, I will show you guys after this game that chance that I had to make it. I think it was 1-0. It would have been 1-0 to me, I think. I hit a power pass across the back of the goal. I don't know who I had standing at the back of the goal, but I had somebody there. I hit a power, like a driven pass. Sorry, I keep saying power pass. A driven pass across the goal with like loads of power. And it just didn't matter. So why isn't Ketia running in there, EA, instead of Drogba? Emilia Butragueño. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, it broke down, alas.
Ball back with the Founders now. Now you see. Now you see. Now you see. Look at it. Oh, it's un fucking real. It's un you shouldn't. E I shouldn't even get mad, man. I shouldn't even get mad because I'm. I'm literally playing against a game for the second game in a row. But it's unreal. Well, these fans are making for the exits now. Their team have been totally outplayed today. Trossard. Opportunity here. And there's the goal. He's found the net. You thought they nerfed 71 depth? I mean, they did a little bit, but then they also started giving, like, so many players really high stand with uh, Relentless and Relentless Plus, which kind of, like, you know, kind of, uh, kind of got rid of the nerf, so to speak. You know what I mean? The nerf wasn't nearly as impactful because everybody just has way more stamina. That's why I was never the same story. Uh, the game, like, listen, I'm, I'm, I don't usually lose my calling rivals because it just doesn't matter. Like, it really doesn't matter. But this game in the last, I'm, 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 you know, it's one of those things for me, and it's, it's something that I just need to do and, and be better as, uh, uh, better at as a person. Is like, when I lose to a better player, generally speaking, I'm like, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of a kick to the nuts and a kick to the ego and stuff, but generally speaking, I'm, I'm all right. I, and I can, I can appreciate and understand and accept when it's a better player that has beat me. But when you lose to players like this, and it's because everything you're doing is just going wrong, it gets so frustrating. It gets so frustrating because I... I, I feel like I'm losing this game because of the gameplay, not because of because of me, right? Which and, and, and it might partially be true and partially be not true, right? It might, it, like, and that's probably even half the time worse is when you're kind of like being bested by the game, but you're also up against somebody who's good at the game. Not giving him a moment's peace. Roberto Carlos. Oh, big chance. Mm. Oh, yes, matey. Like right yes, yeah, sure can. You come here. Did you? Uh, playing football. Um, oh. This is Arsenal, yeah. You can watch me for a minute, yeah. Game's nearly finished now. There's only five minutes left. Down. Well, here you can see well, because you came in late, didn't you? The game's nearly over. So cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Oh, yeah. uh, the pink here, Daddy. Well, yeah, all of them with the pink kits. Yeah, it's all me. Everyone. Yeah. yeah. Well, not me, me, but the team that I'm playing. Well, it's a great advantage yeah. to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. No, no, I'm using them. Yeah, so... I, yeah, I need to get the ball. And then once I've got the ball, put it in the goal, don't I? Phil Foden. <laughs> Nearly. Don't pull on Daddy's chair, please. Thank you. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. I don't know, mate. Roberto Carlos. Yeah. Right. And there Game's finished now. Give me half five because they've got record. Love you, mate. Fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Born off the top. For them. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best oh. today. Both <laughs> Good boy. No two ways about it. He really has brought his yeah, you can take that one. That one's finished. On the Good boy. Mind your feet on the way out, okay? Today, every time he touched the ball, he looked like scoring. No wonder he's got a smile on his face. Don't ever reduce, introduce them to champs. I want to bring you to the eye. I was already 2 0 down here. Right. Yeah, right here, right? Look at this, man.
Where's my power? Look at that. Two bars of power. Let me let me hide my face cam real quick, right? Look where my joypad is. Look look at where my thumbstick is aimed. I have held RB for this this as well. So it's a power. Even if it's not a driven pass, even if it's just a regular pass. Somebody explain to me. Somebody explain to me how the fuck that didn't connect to Rosicki at the back post. You can't see the thumbstick. Sure, you can. I can see. I can see that you can see it. It's right there. Someone explain to me how that doesn't connect to Thomas Rosicki. Let me, uh, I want to, I want to get it so that you can see that it was a power, like a, I keep saying power pass, I don't know why. So it was a driven pass. Not enough power? Nah, that, I mean, that, that's, that's nonsense if you're saying it's not enough power. Here we go. So RB, RB's pressed there to charge it up. And then that's where it connects. That's where it connects. I've done everything right there, man. And it's connected to Thierry Henry. I just, I just don't understand. I just don't understand, man. That has to be full power. See, this is one of those things, Dave, we're just going to disagree on. The fact that a, you need a full power pass to pass it eight yards across the front of the goal. Like, if my thumbstick was aimed, like, I'll show, I'll show you what I mean, right? I'll have to cover my face cam off again to uh to get it. Oh, we can see it here now as well. This is even this is even better with it. Hey, like shown like this. When I pass this, let me get the power. Right, because of the direction my thumbstick is aimed. Right, that this should never have to be full power ever. If my thumbstick was aimed like cut, cutting backwards, kind of like diagonally, you know, if the thumbstick was at like seven o'clock on a clock, somewhere like that, then I'd be like, okay, I can understand. I can see how it's connected to Thierry Henry. But because it's aimed at five o'clock on a clock, there is no way that this should connect to anybody other than uh, Rosicki at the far post. When pros watch this back, they'll know straight away the difference with power. But the, the other part of it is, though, Dave, it's a driven pass. It's a, it's a driven pass with two bars of power. And the, the, the positioning of the pass is correct. Like, I have scored so many cutbacks in this exact same, this, with this mechanic in this exact same scenario where it connects to the guy at the far post. Uh, Agomba way. Thanks for the seven months, brother. Much appreciated, man. So dumb. It happens all over the pitch as well. Where passes don't go where you aim because it locks onto someone else. Like, like I say, like so sometimes, like because it's assisted passing, or like I think I'm on semi-assisted passing. Actually, there are occasions where I'm like, I can see how the game has registered the player that's that it's registered to. Sometimes I can see it, but in this instance. He's like eight yards away from Rosicki. Maybe stick drift. You can see where the stick is aimed, Ali. There's, there's, there is no stick drift as an issue here. I'm going to show you where it went. There. And let's let's also let's also appreciate the fact that this was a driven pass, right? And look at the pace with which it connects to Thierry Henry as well as a driven pass. He rolls it. He just p rolls it. It doesn't even get that like that driven power. And then when I get lucky to get the ball back, it's offside. It's just, it's, it's so, so, so frustrating. And like I say, if that is 
the oh, send me a friend. if that is the uh the game mechanic it's so shit again like like these are the things that surely people have got to say to ea like you sure like no this this is this is the thing that just like fucking winds me up with this game right no one no one in their right mind who's a football fan and a football player is looking at a guy eight yards away from them aiming the pass at them driving the pass at them and thinking i best be putting full power on this it's so fucking illogical that they have to fix it if you have four guys in a line okay and, a, and a, like dave i will i will fight you to the death on so many things i will agree with you on so many things this isn't four guys in a line, man. This is one guy in the line and three guys behind the line. And that's what I mean. This is where the, th the thumbstick aim is so valuable. That is not four guys in a line. It's just not. That is one guy in the line where, like, you can draw where the pass is aimed. Like, it's aimed down towards the corner flag. There is no one here that it should connect to other than Thomas Rosicki. No one else. I'm not on assisted. I'm on semi-assisted, which even, even more so should give that ball to Rosicki. Like I say, if, if Thierry Henry, right, let, let me go to this monitor here. If Thierry Henry was where my mouse pointer is, First of all, I'd score the goal anyway. It wouldn't make any difference. But I'd, 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 I'd say, yeah, fair enough. Like, there's, there was another man there. That makes sense. If Thierry Henry was kind of just in front of the defender, first of all, I'd probably score the, score the goal again. But I would... It's, it's not about... Chat, like, you, what you're saying is probably right, Dave, right? I probably do need to full power that. But that's so fucking dumb because this is what I'm saying. Who in their right mind is playing this game, looking at this scenario, thinking, do you know what I need to do here? Full power. Who? It's just not logical. And so my brain is never, ever going to look at this scenario and think I best full power the fuck out of this because I'm aiming it down this trajectory here where my mouse is going. I've got two bars of power as a driven pass. This should just go into this vicinity here for me to tap it in. But if you play the game, you know. I like it is in hindsight, it's easy to say we should have full powered that. But on another day, I full power that and it flies past Rosicki. It goes all the way down. You say, oh, you should have put less power on it. The, 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 like these are the scenarios. I might even clip this and send it to the game dev because these are the scenarios where I'm like, I want them to explain it to me, right? I want them to explain not the fact that it is the game because if it is the game, it is a game. I want them to explain to me why they've made it so that a two bar power pass, a two bar driven pass from there does not connect to him. I, I just want to know. Precision pass there might have been pretty good, yeah. Precision pass would have been good, but this just, I'm, I, I don't have the, the, the mechanics to add that into my game that quick in that regard. Oh, one is driven. Yeah, so I've, I've done a driven pass here. Dri look, look, let, me, let me play it forwards a little clip again. There you go. It's two bars. It's just over two bars of power. That's what separates the average player from a pro. Like genuinely, genuinely, probably, yeah. Not even probably like that. That makes absolute sense that they would get to this scenario here. Like I've done everything right, man. L like literally everything right. Good passing down the left-hand side. I've kept the ball with Cole because he's not pressed me. He's switched off the other defender. We've got the ball roll inside. We've done the step over speed boost. We've hit a driven pass across the face of goal and it connects to Thierry Henry. Like... I just, I'm sorry, but that has, that has to be a goal. It just has to be a goal. Did I lose that game? I did, yeah. 
Have I tried to score with precision passing? I haven't. I'm not on assisted passing, though. I'm on semi-assisted passing. How are you still talking about this? I just made tea, came back and still going. Uh, because the length of a conversation, Adam, isn't defined by how quickly one person can make a cup of tea or not. Probably. I don't know. Just a, just a guess. If you start looking at the game from a mindset of this has to work because it's logical, it won't get you anywhere. No, no, and I do appreciate that, right? I completely appreciate the fact that this game is full of like, like, you know, it's not a football game. I stand by it. Even, like I've said it so many times myself. This game is it's based on football. It's not a football game, right? 100% agree with that. And there are certain things that work even though they shouldn't. The step over boost shouldn't work as good as it does and it does, right? The, you know, it's the same as the LB sprint boost last year. It shouldn't work as good as it does and it does. There's certain things that are just really good that shouldn't be as good as they are, and they are that good. And so we play the game like that. In a hundred more attempts in that exact same scenario, I'm doing the exact same thing, and I'm scoring probably 90 to 95 of them. I don't know why, in spite of the fact that it should have been full power, whatever, I've been in that scenario so many times where a one to two bar driven pass has connected with the player at the back post and I've tapped it in. I just, I don't, I will never, ever, ever, ever do full power there because most of the time it's successful with two bars of power. What's my favorite FIFA in terms of gameplay? Probably FIFA 17, mate. <clears throat> I really like FIFA 17. FIFA 19 as well, I really enjoyed. I'll, 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 I will, Dave. I'll, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Obviously, it'll be a lot easier if I'm in a game where I'm like in control and not like stressing at my opponent. But if, if, I, if, I, can, if I can pick up on it, I'm in that situation again, I'll, I'll full power it. One of the other things about full power as well, and again, why I would never do full power in a situation like that, anyway is because it takes so long to power that pass it takes another like two three four tenths of a second at which point either the ball's gone out of play or the defenders have closed the pass down i i just like i i don't know if i have much more time to full power that pass the fifa 19 rtg was legendary the pack clock was ridiculous was that the hullet uh, the hullet one Kez, man, thanks for the uh, two months, man. Interestingly, disliked FIFA 17 and 19. I really prefer the even years for some reason. Well, d different people, like, like, look at Zwayback, right? Zwayback is banging at this game because whatever the, the way that he plays suits the game mechanics this year. But sometimes Zway's awful at the game. And, like, Zway's in the elite division gets 14, 16 wins in champs. Like, it's banging. And it just suits the way he plays. And, that, and it's, it's weird how a game that's a yearly release like FIFA or FC24 can have such significant differences in play styles, even when nothing really changes. Um, right. He got 11 wins. He's got 16 wins as well before, though, and he's in the elite division. So uh, I think we'll do that as a question of the day that we never we, we stopped doing. What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 20, no, not FIFA. It's FC 24, innit? Except, mate, my head's everywhere, guys. I've been playing Rivals. I know, crazy, right? Playing Rivals close to 6 p.m. What a moron. But from the back of a conversation we've been having on stream here, we've got a question of the day. What was your favorite gameplay in FIFA's or FC 24? Like, what was the year you liked the best and why? Let me know. Now, I want to see if we've got a login screen because... We know Team of the Season warm-up is coming. Oh, sorry, Team of the Season live is coming. Hey, there we go. Oh, my days. Champions reward. Oh, my. That looks so... Wait, hold on. I need to go back out. So, Foot Champs rewards are coming back as red picks. We're getting player picks back. 
Or if they just give us team of the season reds. Show me that screen again. That was delightful. I got confused. They didn't even look red, did they? They looked like, like kind of mauve. You know what would actually be easier? Use your brain a little bit in the Panthers. You already had the thing there. Let's just do that. That's just, that's just genius, isn't it? That's way smarter. That's way smarter. Log me out. Log me back in, mates. There we go. Bosh. Champions rewards change in two days, 23 hours. Those cards look so nice. They look so nice. Oh, I'm excited for team of the season. Can you believe it? Um, right. Let's see what we've got for today. I don't think we're going to have much. Uh, I'd be very surprised if we had too, too much. So it's just the same stuff there that's already been there. Nothing new in seasonal. Nothing new in milestone since future stars. Jesus Christ, EA. Give us something, man. And then uh, into evolutions. I believe we're getting a left back, five star weak foot, right back. Oh, yeah, there you go. Full back swap. I saw it there. Nothing else is there. But we've got full back swap for 100,000 coins. Max overall 87. Max pace 89. Number of playstyle plus is maximum number one. Number of, no, no, maximum of one. Number of play styles, maximum seven. Total positions, maximum three. Position has to be left back. And they will gain, overall, five pace, two shooting, four passing, three dribbling, four defending, and four physical. They'll also gain jockey plus, incisive pass, anticipate, and five star weak foot. Holy crap. That is a banging Evo. That is a banging Evo. It's the play styles for me that do it. That Kai Havertz, we'll have a look at him. We'll have a look at him because he's going to be absolutely insane. Insert coin sponsor. Use code NEPA. Check out for 6% off. Use it. .com. All right. Off the back of that, the, the, the only thing that I don't like about the fact that Kai Havertz fits in there is the fact that he's about to get a team of the season live card. Um, let's see what we've got. We've got. Ale, Naya Trossar, Chengiz and Dare, Billing Scali, Pierre Lise Melu, Sirius. I don't think there's any new players. There's no new players today. The daily login, the 85 plus player pick, the lows are back. 83 by 10, 82 by 11, 81 player pick is still there. Is that actually it today? Is it just an Evo? I mean, I, I wouldn't even be opposed to it, to be fair. Nothing in challenges. Frank Ribery's already there. SCN already there. And then the exchange, which uh, I'm excited to see what EA do when the exchange goes. I actually think that literally might be it. But as I said, I am not opposed to that. You know, those promo packs. You've got your 10 coin packs. Oh, we've got a smaller icon pack. 11 rare golds, 81 or higher, one base icon. <laughs> no, thanks. Encore player pick grab bag. One encore player pick from any campaign. Oh, that's that. Uh, that well, Yeah, we opened those already uh, last week. It was bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, guys, obviously with nothing impacts anyway, I'm not touching these, but I, w you know, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be doing that. Kivior does fit as well, but for, for me on the Arsenal Evo RTG anyway, I've actually already got a, um, a really good Jakob Kivior. Uh, so... Wow, why is Mara and Fellaini I? 10,000 coins. Uh, also, foot.gg have added the Evo Lab. I haven't used it yet, so I, haven't, I don't know how to figure it out. Uh, what do we get for an SBC? So the 88 campaign mix upgrade is back and new. You ready for marking matchups? Oh, the Euro, the, the, yeah, okay. So this one's new. What do we have to do? We get a prime gold players pack, a small prime gold players pack, and a small rare gold players pack. That's actually really good rewards. Dortmund against Madrid. One player from Dortmund. One, one player from men or women's Madrid. Three players from the same league as a minimum. One rare player. 77 rated. 22 chem. Nice. And then Barcelona against PSG. One player from Barcelona or PSG. Uh, men or women. Minimum number of nationalities is three. Minimum one rare player. Minimum team rating is 78. Total squad chemistry is 26. That's really good rewards for that. We don't mind that at all. Oh, is this from yesterday, is it? Oh, I wonder why it says new on uh, here. Then this is... I guess repeated. I can't lie. I, f I find this to be woeful. Um, an 85 and an 87 rated squad. That 80, I mean, listen, I'm not, I think this is just a re up of this as well, isn't it? I don't think it's, I like, it is like there again. 
for seven days, but I think is a re up. Now, the fullback swap, the first player I want to look at is King Kai, baby. He goes to Whip Pass Plus, Jockey Plus, anticipate on this card aerial, throw in, first touch, technical, incisive pass. He's got insane passing, very good physicals, good defending, good dribbling. You've got to go with an anchor, I think, actually. Oh, Shadow gets him control. Yeah, control length is better. That is a mad, mad card. That is a mad card. Basically, max pace, very good defending and physical, great passing, four star, five star, with incredible play styles. That's an incredible, incredible ver like opportunity. Uh, we've also got, as options, Basher. She does look very good as well, to be fair. On a battle, I probably wouldn't do. Basher looks good. She goes to four star, four star. Merlin, I'm not interested in. This Camavinga could be quite fun. Jakob Kivio, we already looked at. He looks quite fun. Bernardo, Gavardi Owens, Inchenko. Tyranny could be good. Alaba's probably too slow off the bat. Ashley Cohen's and Brotta fit. Whoa. And then it kind of goes down to like the lower tier players. Um, check Inform Greaves. Oh, yeah. See, now I remember when he came out, I literally said this guy will be banging for an Evo. His problem, though, I suppose he's still a centre back, isn't he? Oh, wow. You could put him into unleashing potential and then into fullback swap. Two star, five star. I mean, that's a quality card. I'd still play him at centre-back, to be fair. Anticipate on him. Jockey plus, slide tackle plus. Great defending, great pace, great physicals, good passing, good dribbling with five-star weak foot. That's a really good card. We've got Salma Basher's team of the week. That's a good card, isn't it? Do you know what sells this for me the more, like, more than anything else? Anticipate. It's such a big thing to give to someone. She's already got mad pace, so I'd probably only give her an anchor just to boost the uh, the sprint speed up a bit. Four star, five star on Salma Basha. Oh, my days are so good. We've got Kamavinga, who I think could be pretty legit with this. Also four star, five star. Jockey and Aerial Plus. Unbelievable play styles. Shadow chem style on him, great pace, very good defending, good physicals, good passing, good dribbling. Pro probably a little bit lower than the other guys that I'd look at. Gavardio. Gavardio can go into unleashing potential first. Wow. Yeah, now that's a mad card. Passing, I, I would use him as a centre back. Again, not a full back. Jockey plus, block plus, anticipate. Power header. Incisive pass, ping pass, and long ball pass. Good dribbling, great defending, great pace, very good uh, physicals. A little low on stamina, but not the end of the world. Good passing. Five-star weak foot. Incre that is a banging card. That is a banging card. Because uh, <clears throat> if you're a Man City fan as well, you've already probably got that Akanji Evo, uh, Akanji Showdown upgraded evo You can now have two wild centre-backs off of what you've been given here. We've got the Zinchenko. I guess he can go through uh, unleashing potential as well. He goes to three star, five star. Jockey plus. Quick step plus. Incisive pass, ping pass, anticipate, flare and aerial. Damn. What would I do? That's quite mad. Great pace. Great defending. Good physicals. Great dribbling. Great passing, good shooting from range. Oh, you, you, you could again give him like a, an anchor as well. Or, or even a shadow to get that sprint speed right up. A good card, man. <clears throat> Check how good the boosts are if you just do the first two levels. How do we, uh, is that in the Evo lab? Take a. Uh, a left back that I've got. Jacob Kivior. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to learn the Evo Lab before I do it. Um, Kieran Tierney. Or if we just look at, we could just look at the uh, 
No, it doesn't show the 1-2 the boost. Kieran Tierney can become a mad card as well. Great defending, great physical, good passing, great pace. Anchor chem style. Where is it? No, oh, that's architect. Anchor there. Great pace defending. Of, oh, my days. That's a good card, isn't it? Only one play style plus as well with that card, which means he'll be very eligible um, to get quite an easy extra upgrade. And then Zambrotta's eligible as well, which is mad. Unleashing potential fullback swap for Zambrotta. That's mad. See, Evos like this I genuinely love because if you've been using Zambrotta, maybe you've got a better version of him, but if you've been using base Zambrotta for like the whole game cycle, you've now got a massive upgrade on him, which is really, really good. Um, Josh is asking me to look at just the first two boosts from this uh, Evo. Oh, I'm so, I'm, 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 I don't know if I want to put Kai Havertz in there or not. I feel like I should. So the first boost gives... Four physical, three defending, one passing, two pace for play four, win two. The second boost gives incisive pass, three dribbling, three passing, three pace, one defending. But just play three, win three, whilst conceding one or less goals. And then the last one gives five star weak foot, anticipate, jockey plus, right back, and two shooting. So you could forfeit the extra play style plus, the new position, the weak foot, and anticipate, and just two shooting. To keep them at one play style plus. Which could could be worth it. It could be worth it. Yeah, I looked at Kivior because I had him on here. Uh, I already had I uh, so I already looked at him because I had him. Um let's take a look at Udol. He's uh if he's gonna be banging, we'll take a look at him. There's there's um there's some good options, isn't there? You doll. What does he get? Two star, five star. Jockey plus, intercept plus. Incisive, pinged, relentless, anticipate, slide, technical. Very good dribbling, good defending, great physicals, good passing, good pace. Shadow chem style on him. That is an insane card, isn't it? That is an insane card. With that agility and balance for a fullback with jockey plus as well and intercept plus as well. Great physicals, great defending, great pace. That is a banging card. If you're through unleashing potential and then this is the best centre back in the Prem, you reckon? Look at Kivior again. Yeah, I mean, that's mad, isn't it? 95 vision, 99 short pass, 99 long pass, insane physicals, near perfect defending, near perfect pace, insane dribbling, five star weak foot, long ball pass plus, jockey plus, anticipate block, incisive pass and slide tackle. That is crazy. I'm actually now a little bit guided that I've got the version of Kivior that I've got because this one's better. He is so good. He's not the best Prem. The thing is, he is the reason why this card will be so good. And you might look at like your Varans or your Van Dykes and stuff like that. But this Kivior as a centre back has literally everything. Ninety nine passing on a centre back, insane dribbling with ninety eight reactions, ninety three composure on a centre back, five star weak foot, long ball pass plus and jockey with anticipate base, near perfect defending, insane physicals, and he's reasonably tall. Was he like six foot? Six foot, I think, actually. Six foot two, there you go. Medium high work rates. Like, this Kivior card is already spiked up 10k as well. He's up even more now. He's up to 32k. This Kivior card, like, yeah, I agree with you, Dave. This is like, this is an, an, an elite level card. Bernardo looks good. Bernardo's card was good when, when it, uh, was it, how do you spell his name? I mean, just, yeah, the, the, the cheese on the long ball plus is definitely good. Or him here, that Bernardo. There we go. Bern, how was I spelling his name wrong before? Formidable in form and then fullback swap for Bernardo. Good card in it. A little low on the long pass. Great play styles. Three star, five star. Can play centre back as well, which is banging. He's good. He's good. 
Um, but there you go, guys. So we've got an absolutely insane evolution today. That is about all we've got today as well. But this evolution, this might be like th these are the sort of ev like I know people are like, upset when the showdown winners boost came. I like it and I liked it. But people are like, oh, we need like more evos for non-specific car types, which I also agree with. I want more evos all the time. This might be one of the best evos we've had in a long time, even as a paid evo, because. It's a little bit restrictive with the overalls max 87, but it's better than the 86s and 85s we've been having, which means hopefully we're entering into a new range of Evos that are going to take our very good sort of like 87, 88 players into that sort of like low, low 90s range, which is absolutely perfect because I've got so many of that sort of like 87, 88, 89 range players that just need a little boost to become way, way better. But there you go. That is it for today, guys. Thank you as always for watching. Let me know who you're going to Evo down below, and I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace. Did I see? Oh, I didn't see the second splash screen. No, I saw one splash screen. I didn't know there was another one because I logged in. Yeah, the, the, these, these are better. I'll, I'll record a little splash screen bit for the second one, Josh, and then you could just fit it in after the first one if you like. It's only this one. I don't see another one. No, it's just the one. I'm <laughs> see the thing. The thing for me is, I really want to turn my Arsenal Evo into just first owners, and which I think for the most part they are now. Um, it took me a long time to get a few of them into that first owner range. I don't know if Kivior is first owner, actually. He might not be. Um, I actually don't know if Saliba's first owner either, to be fair. But, uh... EA Sports. My game. missus just said, why I'm always listening to the radio? Because you're never on the fucking stream. What are you talking about, Dewey? Sorry, wrong chat, my bad. You can just ban him. There you go. Oops. Sorry, sorry, wrong person to ban. My bad. Too late. Already banned. Yeah, I'm the same, Adam. I, I want to do Kai Havertz. Because he actually looks sick. Like, genuinely incredible. But. I just, I, I, I know already after fighting with two versions of Havertz already. But it's just not going to be good for me to have him. Oh, he just he actually looks mad though, doesn't he? Like an anchor chem style on that card. Anticipate and jockey plus, whip pass plus and incisive pass. Neb, why do you always just banning people? That's literally not what I always just do though, is it? In fact, that's the first time I've done that this whole stream, and we've been streaming for nearly two hours. So I'd say that's not even one percent of the things that we do. Havertz is, is a great option. I've also got... T would be too slow. I've got Maritz. Now that is a good card. I know she's a Villa player now. Who do I have at right back? Ben White at the moment, but he's too slow. Reading previous messages, I don't know if he's a troll, may be, just be a genuine mistake. But even so, he was still trying to rip the piss out of someone, you know? He, he thought he was in somebody else's stream to try and rip the piss out of that content creator. Buy Zinchenko? I don't know if I can, mate. Now then, I could finish... Tommy Asu and put this card into it. He also wouldn't be fast. Enough. That's the problem, man. Like, he just wouldn't be fast enough. Imagine whip pass plus, incisive pass plus. He's already got anticipate as well. No, he just. Uh, it's the pace that's a problem. I'll do the same with you, but get away with it because it's me. Maybe same for him in it. 
Maybe, maybe. Maybe just give him a five minute timeout then. What about inform Ben White? I've already got a really good, good Ben White card. But again, what my biggest problem is he's just not fast enough. If I could get about literally about another five pace on this Ben White, he would be he would he'd actually be better as a centre back, but he would be my centre back. I also need to anticipate on this Ben White. Salibur's banging. I've already got Kivior done, so like I've got a version of Kivior, so I can't use him. Which is a shame. I'll probably play as Kivior over him because he's not doing good. Sell Kivior at 32k max price or wait. I would probably sell him. I, I, I think it's going to have to be goodbye to this Kai Havertz again. We've just got him back in playing games again. 1,100 games on him. Almost 1,100 goal contributions. And I think it's going to be time to get rid of him. Well, a Timber right back. Timber's too high rated. He's already 89 for me. Gonna have to be this Donny, innit? We're gonna throw him in at right back. And at that point, once we get that Evo Kai Havertz in there, that back line is actually banging. I've got no excuses in that defense now. The midfield's not not the greatest. I don't have a defensive midfielder, which is a big, big, big problem. I could start five at the back and maybe play a Kivior at in defensive mid or Cole at defensive mid and Kivior at left back and put Timber in. Which I probably will. Because El Nenny was fun to play with in that, but also at the same time, he's garbage. Timber could be better than White right back, maybe. The problem with Timber for right back is three star, four star is not ideal, first of all. Passing's terrible. Dribbling's not great. Play style's not the best for a, for a fullback. You want a few more passing play styles, I'd say. Um, the other player I've got for right back is Walters, but two star, four star is not ideal. His passing is terrible. And he's got no passing play styles. Play your current timber for right back. Yeah, as, as I just said, this, this timber is not good for right back. Whip pass is nice. I suppose quick step is quite nice as well. First touch is nice. Defensive play styles are decent, but his passing is terrible. I don't mind doing this Havertz because even though we're going to get the live Havertz, what's going to inevitably happen is the live one will go in, he'll be the guy we use, then another Evo will come and we'll be able to Evo one of the other versions of Havertz to being better. And like we'll just have like a little Havertz love triangle. Three at the back, three, five, two for the win. I, I've been using three at the back, but I'm, I'm, I'm honestly struggling with the formation right now, which is then in turn like being represented in my gameplay where I'm struggling with that as well. I'm going to hold off doing Havertz, mostly because I already use Unleashing Potential. I don't think Havertz fits in Unleashing Potential. Isn't Unleashing Potential max 86? I've already done it anyway, but... Do I even have a showdown winner? I don't. Crossard's about to become the guy. Formidable inform. Could make a 92 Harry Kane. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to be doing Atomic Ace either. Oh, for, oh, it's 88. Is it Defo Havertz live card? Apparently so, mate, yeah. Yeah, I'd... I'd, I'd the only the only player that I can look at outside of that for me is the Tommy Asu Evo, but he's in that same predicament of once it'd be done, he's already got five star weak foot. He's already got right back, so that's that won't will gain nothing out of that. He'll only go to eighty five pace, eighty nine physical, ninety three defending. His passing still be bad. He'll be good for a centre back role. And he's already got Anticipate, so he'll only gain Jockey Plus and Incisive Pass. And it's just kind of just kind of not good enough. It 
Havertz is the smart choice for sure. Havertz is the smart choice. He is who will do. What we're going to do in the meantime and in between time is go and do those 85 plus player picks. Today is Tuesday, right? Yeah. I'm going to save Thursday's player picks and Friday's player picks. I won't open any packs on Thursday until Friday at 6 p.m. Um, so, you know, Thursday, sort of like 5 to 6, we'll do the player picks. And then at 5 past 6, we'll do the player picks. The live one won't have left back, right back position. Anyway. Yeah, but it's just because you can't play two at once. Do you know what I mean? What is this? Is an 848 squad, isn't it? What is Friday? Uh, team of the season, mate. Team of the season live is coming Friday. There's no guarantee that Tots Havertz is even better than the forward. That, yeah, yeah. There, there, actually, there is no guarantee that the the one coming is going to be better. The only thing that I think with the ones coming is that they're going to have three play star pluses, I believe. I don't know that for sure. I'm not 100% on that. Um, Kez, man, thanks for, the, uh, thanks for the two months, man. But I think they're going to have three play star pluses. There's no community team of the season this year, no. Yeah, I think Basher's team of the week is very good for fullback swap because I think you can also put her in the... Uh, can you put her in a team of the week one first as well? I don't know. It'll be live in a minor league on Friday. I think it'll just be live on Friday. I don't think there'll be a minor league as well. You'd want to do Gavardi Ob, but it's extinct. And when I looked at this, I looked at some of the cards and I was like... Because I saw this a few hours ago. I really like I really should have invested in some of the better cards. Could have made like a good few hundred thousand coins. Where's the first team of the season on Friday? Live. Live team of the season. The 90 pace Kivio is insane. He looks very good. He does. He does. If I'm doing a Chelsea pass and present, should I just save my Paxel Prem team of the season? You can save, you can open some. Like honestly, it's your like your prerogative, really, mate. I wouldn't necessarily be like uh some You can use Evo Labs to compare your players in Evos. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll 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 give Evo Labs a little a little use. Today and try and uh, try and f like well not try but actually get my head around it. When you're making these decisions, you can put them all together and see. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty sick. Where do I get my info on the game? Like, all over the place, mate. Sometimes Twitter, um, sometimes Instagram, sometimes DMs on Discord. Like there is a whole host of uh, places. I'm about to get Mbappe here, guys. So stay tuned. Wanted Mbappe. Damn, old Palmer. Mate, he is. How, like, I know he scored like nine penalties, but 20 goals in that Chelsea team in the Premier League is insane. It's insane. He's so good, man. He's so good. It was funny. I didn't bite on anyone yesterday, right? But I tweeted out, like, Cole Palmer's, like, serious baller. I got about 15 responses about Saka, right? And I was like, how, how are people making this again about Saka? Oh, Saka's out of the England team 100%. They don't play in the same position. Don't play like he's going to play center attacking mid. Bowden's going to play left attacking mid. Saka's going to play right attacking mid. Kane's going to play up front. We're going to have Bellingham and Rice in the midfield. Who am I missing? I'm missing someone massive. I can feel it, but he'll be a sub to the 119th minute, and then come off the pens, maybe. 
Yeah, Saka lives rent free in people's heads. Like after the Villa game, Liverpool fans piping up. Yeah, it's it's mad how 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 people like like Saka's had such an influence on people. Where's Foden? I think Foden will play on the left. He's played off the left for England quite a few times. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing uh, Havertz here, guys. He just he just looks well. Let me let me let me see let me see if I can get let me let me let me try these uh let me try these Evo Labs. Evo Lab. Let me first and foremost, Mendy. Get my Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu. Where is he? Tom. Asu. I can't even. I've done old ones. Build. I can't even remember which ones I've done on Tommy Asu. How am I supposed to know what I've done? Got him in skilled wing. I already had him as an 82. And then I put him in skilled wing defense. Did I put him in crossing crusader? Nope. Do you got slide tackle plus? Nope. Must have been this one. No. Wait. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know how to find the Tommy Asu that I've got. Because the one that I've got is 82 rated. And it's none of these. It might have been this FS right back power up. But not all the way. Oh, so if I hold on, let me just customize it. So we've got 78 pace, 37 shooting. Sixty-nine passing. Gapper. Seventy-five dribbling. Eighty-five defending. Eighty-one physical. Rarity is foot birthday. Skill moves. Two star. Weak foot five star. Work rates are still the same. Medium high. Position is. Right back, left. This is real cool. Right back, left back, right wing back. Play styles anticipate, block. And then he's got first touch and whip pass. And then we save player. Do you know what? That is literally insane. From uh, foot.gg, fair play. Change rating. Oh, yeah, rating up to 82. How do I edit it? Yeah, this is a really cool feature. So then we can take Tommy Asu. Can't give him back line to front line. And give him fullback swap now. What's this feat? What's this thing here? This is compare. And we're putting but How do I add in do I do I have to put Havertz into my players? I have a fullback swap. I'll go back to the uh, compare. Did I do it right? I don't see him.
from Evolve. That's not right, is it? Ah, oh, pullback swap. There we go. What the hell is happening here? I didn't save him. Create. Havert. I have Havert. Pullback swap. How do, how do I save him then? Is it build? Then save. Then compare. Then add from my players. Then show him. Fuck. Uh, Hammer, thanks for the two, brother. Yep, check out Petite Base in New Evo with Shadow, please. I will do one second. Did I build the Tomiyasu other one? I want to add him to compare. Or did I just have this Tomiyasu? Well, it's, it's mad confusing, isn't it? I think I've got it now, though. I'm going to have to delete all of these and start again from the beginning. No, where's that Tommy Asu gone? It's only showing me... Uh... You didn't save the upgraded Tommy Asu. You need to click the compare button. Wait, build? Callback swap, save player. Then compare from my players. Yeah, straight away I can, I can see without even seeing that Havertz is just miles better. How about this is just crazy, isn't he? Team week Alibur is 300k. Yeah, but Petit, Petit is right. I've actually got Petit as well. Petit's now 95k. <laughs> Base Petit is cheaper than his uh, 90 rated version because of this. Good pace. Nah, I mean, this card's gob. Let's be real. This card's gob. Anybody that's getting this Petit into this Evo just doesn't know what they're doing. He's got bang average dribbling, awful passing, good physicals defending, okay pace, three star, five star. Like, that is a terrible card. Man, I'm going to have to, in the Evo Lab, I'm going to have to, I literally might as well just delete all of my players and start them again from where they are. So that I can stay on top of it. Between Havertz and Basha. Yeah, for me, the, the, only, the only thing that I could personally do is like maybe buy Zinchenko. Uh, um. <clears throat> but I uh, don't know if I want to. I think I'd rather just do Kai Havertz. Thoughts on a battle. She's got a team of the year, so I think it's pointless. Any card that's got like an already better card out there, I wouldn't personally be uh, be bothering with. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Still no idea. I, still, I just don't have a defensive midfielder, which does hurt me a lot in this team. Do 
JC, thanks for the 20 months, man. Much appreciated, bro. You're doing Reza, past present Liverpool for his UCL hero. Yeah, that's banging now. Nice. And I can tell you it was a dry walk for the gantry <laughs> today. No rain in sight. My name is yeah, we looked at uh, Radioactive Zinchenko. He looks very good. What a team that is. West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming Why aren't those good stats for a DM? Nah, man. Like, may, 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 genuinely, maybe like three months ago. Yes, thanks as always. But that petite looks bobbins, man. It, it, literally, his foot birthday one, or Future Stars one, sorry, looks better. And hopefully we're not disappointed. Even though it's uh, cheaper. And here's the starting lineup for the founders. Petr Cech stands between the posts. Dennis Bergkamp starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And leading the line today, is it going to be... Henri! That incisive pass was delightful. Vincenco's extinct. The thing about a lot of these players now, though, guys, is there's, there's not going to be many tradables of them that exist. Right, you're going to struggle to find tradables because even though they've been like pick up a ball again, that even makes sense. As if he's got that, as if he's got that, even though they've been like packable, pickable, whatever, they're never tradable. Not a bad pass, it was fine pass from Sawa. Oh, surely. Was an important piece of defending. Show your team. No, I, I can't right now. I'm in, the, I'm in a game, mate. Sorry, bro. You literally would have seen it as I'm going into the game, though, to be fair. Angles it back. Akanji. On to Stoichkov. Can he give them the lead? There's no way. He's Is he going to score a second goal on that? Come on now. Current total stands at 299 goals for the. And that sour is just ridiculous, no isn't she? It. He wants to hit the 300 mark. Well, let's just hope he gets that milestone. Oh, might be. Oh, he saved it well. Look, okay, guys, we already looked at all the like. You guys are just all late. We were, during the 6 p.m. content. We already looked at all of the players that you keep suggesting for me to look at in chat. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. And deciding to go short with this one. And crossing towards the far post. What a save that is. Oh, so dumb how effective that is, isn't it? Won't Tommy Asu get better from the one that I currently have him in? Yeah, yeah, I was looking at the wrong one to be fair. And Kessia. Henri. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Steve McManaman. Stoichkov on the ball. Uh, like, oh, good vision from McManaman. Just how is he skipping past that tackle without... Oh, man, this game triggers me so much, man. Like, what a genuinely good tackle there with Dennis Burkamp. And the game's just like, mm-mm. We're just not going to let you get the ball. We're just going to like phase it through your player instead. No, and then there, I haven't even pressed tackle. And he's tackled it out of play instead of just walking away with the ball, you absolute melon. Jesus Christ. Do I think a right-back one will be coming out? Um, yeah, potentially. I, I, I wouldn't bank on it personally. Like, you know, I, d I don't know for sure. Good distribution. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. But and around the there again. That that fails to hit its target. Now, breaking at pace is always a possibility. A really good pass. I fucking Stop hate that, man. I hate that. I just hate how the defender doesn't actually turn around to run and just like watches the ball over their head. So triggering. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, the fans want to see a shot. And this would reduce the deficit. That guy's probably triggered at that as well. What a tackle from him and just fell back to Nketiah. I don't think Gallagher will be going to the Euros. I do, I do quite like Gallagher as a player, but I don't think he's, uh, I don't think he's Euros material, if I'm being honest. Maybe if there's like an injury or something. 
Um, I think I think Maynou will go to the Euros. I don't necessarily think it's the right thing to do, but I think he will go. And the founders recovering possession well. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Henri. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Steve McManaman. Good challenge by Rosicki. And Kessia. Oh, it's a boss action, right? The founders have the ball once more. Will he play it in? And a very good challenge. Counter attacking chance. Well, it petered out. Werner. That would have been a red card if I missed that tackle. Just lost his oh my days, Ashley Cole, just control it, you moron. Reese James, that's a good ball. James. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Can they oh, hit on the break? And he's in an offside position. You'd take Cole Palmer over Saka. You, you, would, you don't want Saka to go to the Euros for England. Man, honestly, the Saka hate is fucking wild that, from people. It's crazy. People want Saka out of the England squad because Cole Palmer's having a good season. It's just what they, they don't even play in the same position. But fuck if that matters. We still want we still want Bukayo Saka out of the team because Cole Palmer's playing well. Genuinely, genuinely mind numbing reading things like that. They have made pack generation highest ever yet on console. You can't see more than 30 or so. They need to address that. 100% agree. He's 100% going, but he shouldn't, in my opinion. Tin Can, you don't think Bakayo Saka should go to the Euros? I'm um, like, honestly, honestly, the Saka hate uh, is the fucking mental. It's mental. Lauren Hemp. Oh, he looks threatening, but stout defending when it mattered. Crossard. I've got to get that over the top, man. He's literally gifted me the play there. Now with James. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Just a there, there's, there just can't be any serious any serious England fan that thinks Saka is, doesn't deserve to be starting for England. It's, it's crazy as well because according to most, Saka has a bad... Saka's awful if he doesn't score or assist, right? That, that That's the barrier for entry for Saka. If he doesn't score or assist, he's awful. And yet he's fourth in the, or fifth now because of Palmer, in the goals and assists tally for the Premier League this season. And so it's like, wait, he's doing the thing that you're regarding as the barrier for entry anyway. And even though he's doing that thing, you still don't give him the credit to get into the England team. Not that goals and assists is the thing that I would set as a barrier for entry. Like, of course it's, of course it's important. But so is the general overall play. Pivotal moment defensively. No, I've 
Ahí está. I like Saka, but the limping off every game and diving, getting a bit old. Ludicrous take. Limping off every game. Just, just out of interest, when he's being kicked around the field because he's so good, right? You know, he, he doesn't get kicked about because he's shit. He gets kicked about because he's insane, right? When he's getting kicked about the field every game, like, what should he do? Like, if, if he's being beaten and bruised because he's being kicked about, what what is it you'd like him to do as he goes off the field? Okay, that's just for... And the danger clear. Excellent referee advantage in operation. Why should Maynu not go? Not enough experience. There's there's probably like three or four at least midfielders I think should go over Maynu. Some people are so easily influenced by social media when it comes to football. Just mad. Like like I say, like people look at certain players, and Saka is one of them, but he's not the only one, that's for sure. And they think that if they didn't score or assist in a game, like they're, they're, uh, what was it? The game that we won 5 0, where Gabriel scored two goals, but one of them was given as an own goal, right? And then it later got changed to a Gabriel goal because it should have been. And it was Saka's corner that created the goal. And therefore, Saka then got credited with the assist, but I don't actually think it got changed on, like, the Premier League score charts and stuff like that. And it's like, because we won 5-0 and he didn't get a goal or assist in that game, in that moment, people were like, oh, my God, he's washed, he's this, he's that. But it's like, his corners were causing havoc. His corners were the reason why we got up early in that game and the reason why we won, with, like, Gabriel scored that goal. And then you get morons like Tristan Reeside, who's obviously fishing at this point because there's no way somebody could be that brain dead on purpose saying Saka is overrated. And, and, and that Tristan guy thinks that Saka doesn't deserve to go to the Euros. Like, you're out of your fucking mind. Like, gen you're, you're either, like, brain dead or you're fishing. Like, there's, there's no, no one with any logic thinks that Saka doesn't deserve to go to the, uh, to the Euros. White. Oh, left his man behind here. Good nope. defending in the end, and danger oh. averted for now. Martin Odegaard, a foul, but advantage played. The referee. Experience the doesn't matter if you're good enough. So a throw in coming. Okay. Up. Given away by the founders. Well, good run, this. Now, what can she do with it? It is brain dead take off the brain dead take in here. Werner sends it back. Well, just the tackle that was needed. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Foden is better than Saka. Yeah, you, you, you're entitled to that opinion. I'm. I'm Listen, Foden's an insane player. I'm not saying Foden's not better than Saka. I'm also not saying he is better than Saka. He's probably in better form than Saka right now, that's for sure. But in Foden and Saka, England have got two absolute phenoms for that midfield, right? With Bellingham as well, with Harry Kane as well, with, like, you know, you're going to have Ollie Watkins in this England team, I would, I would presume as well. Like, England have got some absolutely incredible players. I'm not saying... That you're right or wrong saying Foden's better than Saka. Like that's that's your opinion, you're entitled to it. It's when people say things stupid like Saka doesn't deserve to go to the Euros. That's where it's like, okay, that guy's just being a, a fucking moron. Is that Tristan guy the same guy I said I was always banning? But so he's literally trying to get banned. Okay, just just ban him. Just ban him. Get him gone. He's literally just saying things to try and get banned to almost prove a point that I'm just banning people. Very, very, very dumb guy. And play halted, free kick given. Saying you don't have a CDM, Havertz there. Mm, could, could, but then you, first of all, you're kind of wasting that whip pass plus, uh, which would be a shame. And the pass well, um, and very deftly cut out. Second of all, I don't know how to set the team up because I, I still wouldn't have a right back then. Morgan. 
unless I started uh, five at the back and play the centre back at right back. But then I'm using somebody that I don't want at right back just so that I can use Kai Havertz at DM. Which I probably don't want to do. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Uh, we could ban the VNA guy on Twitch as well. Forward, there was some really nice incisive play too. It's a good... I don't like Man United and I'd probably start Manu. So, Kid Hallows, who would you start Manu over? Bellingham or Rice? Because I don't know about you, but for me, Manu is getting nowhere near the team over those two players there. You think my chat's behind? Let me refresh it. The message, the message was coming through as it was coming through, but I've refreshed. Let's see. But for, for me personally, the England midfield would be Bellingham, Rice, Foden, Saka, Palmer, Kane. That would be the front six. don't think is best with Bellingham at a 10. I, th I think Bellingham was good as like a progressive midfield. I, I, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not looking at two defensive midfielders. We're looking at Declan Rice as a holding midfielder with maybe Trent at right back filling in as an inverted fullback to help defensively in that midfield. And then having Bellingham as somebody who like pushes a bit more forward with Foden or with Palmer probably. And then having, uh, yeah, like uh, Saka, Foden and uh, Kane up front. Nep thinks his ball knowledge is superior, but it's just an opinion. In what manner, Preston Waters, have I ever suggested that I think my ball knowledge is superior when, as you correctly stated, all I'm doing is giving my opinion? No, I don't, I don't think I don't think uh, Madison starts now. Palmer's in too hot form to to not play. Joe Gomez maybe because he can play anywhere in defence. I don't know. There's a lot better defenders than Gomez. I, th I think Maynou can go, right? I think Maynou can be on the plane. I just think people are uh, a bit senseless, I suppose, if they think that he's going to be, uh, be a starter. How do I set up the back four? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think Trent starts and plays as like an inverted fullback. I think if Stones is fit, he's got to play. Um... Honestly, the back line is probably like the weakest spot for England at the moment. Walker, is, but Walker can play as well, though, guys. Right? So, if we, if hey, I'm going to get that, uh, that that board thing out, right? The tactics board. Hold on. If we have. Walker, so Trent's number one, yeah? Walker's number two. This, this is how, the for me, the team would set up, right? This, this is how the team would start, anyway. This is, this, is how, this is how it would start. This isn't how we'd play in transition. Walk, uh, sh uh, Trent's number one, Walker's number two, Stones is number three, and probably like a defensive left back at number four, right? Declan Rice, number five. Uh, Cole Palmer and uh, Jude Bellingham, six and eight. Then Foden, Kane, and Saka, right? 
Then when we're attacking, you got basically the same sort of setup, but a little bit like that. So you've got whoever you have as your defensive left back, number four, your centre back, who's Stones, probably number three, and Kyle Walker, number two, with Trent moving into that midfield. And you've then got Bellingham and Palmer in these roles here. And that's how we set up offensively, right? Way to attack. And see, this is, this is the thing. Rice, Rice isn't exposed because Trent's next to him, right? This is the thing that I hate about England's mentality, right? There's no width. You've literally got a left wing and a right wing. England have got some of, if not, the best, the best attacking players. We need to be offensive because we've seen England teams against fucking San Marino and shit where we've set up like this. We don't want this shit. Ah, Nep, mate, how are you talking down my new? Uh, Robert, in which way did I talk down my new? We don't, want the, we don't want to go into the Euros with fucking five at the back, two holding midfielders, and then three attackers. Man, it's like, it'll be typical fucking boring England. <laughs> We've got so much attacking talent that we should just go and Pummel teams, man. E and yeah, maybe we concede one or two goals. Who gives a shit if we're scoring five or six? Who cares? Head up if you put Alexandra into unleashing potential and you get the win, does he get it? I believe so, mate. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, left back's going to be a bit of an issue. At, the, at this moment in time, like, mate, it's, it's probably looking like Chilwell. <laughs> it's bad. Mainu is better than Rice and Bellingham, yet you're a moron. Joe Gomez has a shout at the moment. I don't know, man. I don't know. Would work in the groups when we play France or Germany, then we'll get exploited on that counter. Maybe. But that's the, the beauty of Jude Bellingham is he's very good defensively as well. So if we're, if we're, if we're like under pressure and in, in the way that I would line up, We've still got our back line. We then have Rice and Jude here defensively. We still have Kane and the two wingers with Palmer in the sort of attacking role. Saka's good defensively as well. We'll defend like that, right? That, that for me personally, is how I would like to see England set up. You can, you can argue the semantics of who specifically you would want there, but that's how I would want England to set up. Defensively in like a 4-4-1-1 um, with whoever our left back is, if it's Chilwell or whatever, um, John Stones, Kyle Walker, and Trent. And because Saka's also good defensively, if we need to, if we're really under pressure, which I wouldn't expect with this England team, you can very easily set Saka into that right wing-back role and have that extra defensive player, right? Because Saka's a good defender. He, he tracks back well, he defends well, he tackles well. He's very good physically. And then offensively, as I say, I would, uh, I would have Saka up there with Kane and Foden. I would have Bellingham joining uh, Palmer in that cam roll. I'd have Rice over there. Walker would come over and Trent would, uh, would sit into the midfield. And then offensively, I would set up like that. That's how I would, like, if I, in a world where somehow Nepenthes is the England manager, that's how I would play England, personally. And then, of course, you've, you've still got an array of talent on the bench, right? Where's Palmer? Uh, Palmer's here. You could play Gomez at left back because then he transitions well into that centre-back role. Like, yeah, fair enough. Nep thinks he's Pep here. Or Nep just has a brain in his head, right? 
NEP can actually understand how transitions and attack and defense works without having to be some Twitter user that just thinks, uh, insert player is shit because insert player that I like isn't shit. Like, Foden has to be central. Incorrect. In fact, Foden regularly plays on the left for England. I just know, Ball, you man get caught up in PR campaigns and stats. Bellingham, the most overrated player I've seen. As, as I stated before, Preston, and I'll double down on this, you're a fucking moron. Can I say who's in my lineup again? So I would have the team sheet, so to speak, would be, mate, honestly, like, I don't know who starts in goal for England because I know Pickford is like a Southgate favourite. He's just shit, isn't he? And Ramsdale can't even get a start for, for England, but it, it, will, it will be Pickford that starts, right? So Pickford's in goal, right? Then for me, I, I don't know who you put at left back, right? I, I genuinely don't know, right? There's no standout obvious. If, if Luke Shaw was fit and healthy, I'd, I'd go Luke Shaw all day. Um, but I don't know. Maybe you go for someone with mad pace at left back, maybe, right? Um, then I would have. Any number of centre backs on this left centre back slot could be Consa, could be um, could could be Maguire, probably will be Maguire. <laughs> like um, could be uh, Matey Boy for Milan. Um, you know, could, could could be could be a whole bunch of different options in that left back. Yeah, could be Tamori. Like like a whole bunch of different options here. Then for me personally, it's Kyle Walker and Trent Alexander Arnold. Right. Then I've got Declan Rice in at the number eight. I've got Bellingham and uh, Palmer in these in these central roles here, and then I've got Foden, Kane, and Saka. Now again, you can argue semantics of maybe you'd prefer Minu and you would play like that with Bellingham at that six, Minu and Rice there or whatever. But for me personally, this England team is very, very, very good and should not be playing defensive and on the back foot. Yeah, Stones, Stones, if Stones is fit, if Stones is fit, I think Stones has got to start, right? But Stones has had just a lot of injury issues this year. And so, for me, like, Stones would be my number one choice for sure. Um, but it's just whether or not he's fit or not, right? And then, like I say, like, I think defensively, even though the team sheet lines up like this, I think defensively, the team actually plays a little bit more like this with Foden and Saka dropping back and Bellingham dropping back in a little bit, leaving Palmer up with Kane. But then offensively, and again, you feel, you know, feel free to agree, disagree, whatever you want. Be, just be civil with it. Offensively, we're set up like this. Right? With Rice and Trent in here, with Palmer and Bellingham in here, with Kane here, hopefully, and not here, like where he likes to play for England. And then Saka and Foden out wide. That's, that's, how I would, that's the team that I would play, and that's how I would play. Um, you, like, it, Southgate's team, right? Okay, well. Southgate's team is that. And he's got as many defenders as he can in there.
I really, I really enjoy talking football with you guys, right, guys? There's just always that, like, five or ten guys in the chat that are just fucking idiots that ruin it for everyone, don't they? On a wind-up on purpose, <clears throat> and just to try and get reaction, and it, just, it just completely, like, puts a negative spin. That's Arsenal's tactics when they play City, no? No. <laughs> no, no. That was Arsenal's tactics when they played City. Southgate using the FC24 meta rat tank. Hopefully, mate. To be fair, it did work. It did work, yeah. Although, did it, because, you know. We have lots of opinions. We should do. Yeah, l listen. What What is Southgate actually going to play? Right? He's going to play Harry Kane. He's going to play Phil Foden. I mean, Rashford, maybe. Saka, probably. He's may maybe Bellingham, Foden, Saka, Kane. Very possibly Minu and uh, Rice. And then he's going to play fucking Chilwell, Maguire, Stones, and either Trent or Walker. To be fair, to be fair, if we did have whatever left back you've got, again, whatever left back you want, I mean, I mean that's probably the most challenging position to pick, right? If we had Maguire, Stones, Walker here, and then Trent and Rice as five and seven there, and then uh, Bellingham, Foden, Saka, and Kane... That's actually a good team still. It's actually a good team. You know, Trent in that holding midfield role or that pivot role, it'd do, it do a good job. Palmer should start him out. I, I, I think Palmer's like... The, the, the only reason why I could see Palmer not starting is because he hasn't played with the team yet. The fact that he didn't get any minutes in those friendlies is a bit dumb. Like Jude, yeah, Jude in the middle here. Foden on the left, Saka on the right, Kane up front, and then Trent and uh, Trent and Rice in that midfield role there. Oh, was he injured? Was he? Fair enough. Um, and then yeah, like we 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 all know Maguire's playing, isn't he? We all know Maguire's going to be in that left centre back role. Stones in the right centre-back role. Kyle Walker at right back. Whoever you fancy. Maybe even Trippier at left back. Um, but I think the only... The, the positions for contention in there is like, do we really want Maguire playing centre-back? I just... I can't. I can't. I can't. For me personally, guys, I can't. Go on then. Go on then. Go on then. Go on then. Have I got any unnecessary, un unexpected DMPs yet? Oh, we're all alive. Let's go. Um, Harry Maguire for me. Harry Maguire. At least he's back in the Man United squad a bit. I think it's because they're massive injuries, right? Look, look, look. You, I mean, listen. I know this is going to wind some Man Man United fans up, and I'm I'm not saying this in a manner of like winding you up, right? You've conceded 48 goals in 32 league games. You can't be putting a centre back from this team in a national team. Like Varane, do you think Varane would get in the France team? Fuck no. Do you think uh, okay, Lindelof might still get in the in the national team? Maguire for England is different though. He's just not though. He's just not. Maguire hasn't started every one of them. No, no, I know that. Let's look at the games that he has started or come off on the bench. Since the start of the season. So they've conceded. Oh, let's just click Man United in Premier League. Start of last season. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 goals conceded in 17 starts and six sub appearances. How can you blame all this all on Maguire? 
when did I blame it all on Maguire? My, but like, I list, like, if you listen to what my point was, my point wasn't that, oh, Harry Maguire's the reason Man United conceded 48 goals. My point was, no, no defender in a team that's conceding 48 goals, especially not on a, for an elite nation. Uh, Kroon, thanks for the eight months, man. I do appreciate it. Is a new cup mode become Max Hem? It is not. It is not. Um, you know, they're just not getting into their national team. Like I said, like, if Raphael Varane was fit and playing every game, he's not getting in the French team. Just say we don't see Maguire starting. Who am I starting? Tamori. Although I don't actually know how fit Tamori's been this season. I think he had a, a few injury problems, didn't he? Yeah, he has. So he had a massive, massive long injury. It looks like it completely derailed his whole season. If Tamori's fit, for me, it's Tamori, personally. I also, I also don't mind at all Konza. I think Konza's a good player. I think Konza's a very good player. Yeah, Konza at centre back. Yeah, not does he play? Does he play right back for Villa? I thought he was a centre back. Fair enough. He's playing right back. Konza will be a walker backup. What about Trent and uh, Trent and Trippier? Is, Tri is Trippier even playing right now? Mate, Trippier was hot property about like twelve months ago, wasn't he? He was like one of the. Oh wow, he hasn't played in ages, but he's injured. Missed five games. Would you not start? I, I, I think if Luke Shaw was fit, I'd start him, but he's been out for months. Look at that. He had a huge layoff here. Came back, got a few games in, another, another injury, and then he's been injured again now. Like, I, I, I just don't think Shaw's played enough football this year to, to warrant going to the Euros. Look at Villa's goals conceded. What happens with my logic then? Uh, they outscore their opponents. My 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 general logic is I like I think Conser is a good player, and I just I just don't think Harry Maguire is, mate. Honestly, I just don't think Harry Maguire is England material. That's my genuine truth. Is like I think Harry Maguire is. I've, I he I honestly think he must have like something on like uh, Gareth Southgate because even when Harry Maguire could not get into the Manchester United team. He was still in the England team. But he's been mostly brilliant for England in the tournaments. I, I, I literally, I, I, first of all, I don't agree with that. And second of all, I don't think that how good you have played for your nation in tournaments years ago should still warrant your position in the tournament. That's mental. He was in the team in the tournament. So are you saying, uh, Jeffrey, that you agreed with absolutely every single player that was in team of the tournament? Are you? A lot can happen in the last six games with Trent in midfield if he comes back in form. Yeah, Calvin Phillips won player of the year. Exactly. Look at him now, right? Um, or, uh, or, uh, I don't think I've got too much for rewards this week. Maybe some uh, 14. Gee, no cash. Oh, I've got a lot of boxes. We've got a tier 5 rare. Uh, the bo bottom line is, guys, is it does, we, we could literally sit here and discuss to death what we would like for England, who we think should go for England, who we do like, who we don't like, what we, what we would like, what we wouldn't like. I just don't think Gareth Southgate gives a shit. <laughs> Gareth Southgate's going to pick the same players that he always picks because he always picks the same players that he always picks. Ruben Sanchez, not bad. Under 23, get some game time as well. Mejbri. Isn't he uh, a little talent, that Mejbri guy, right? I think there's a few minutes here and there. Oh, he's the Man United player. Is he out on loan there? Uh, 
Uh, with all due respect, Preston, your your opinion is uh is is worthless here, mate. Damn. Oh damn, I got some. Oh, I got a super air box. Whoopa. Bad attitude issues, is that right? Eleven boxes. We'll do the limiteds first. Come on. Come on. Come on the game. Come on the game. Give me give me some give me some plurs. <laughs> give me some plurs. What Southgate needs to do is keep his job after the Euros. Uh, I think he needs to win the Euros. Oh, straight away we've got a card. The first one. Jonathan Iglesias, 34 years old, from EA Wingamp. I have a feeling this is like a, a, a 50p kind of uh, 50p kind of card. Jonathan Iglesias. Yep. Hasn't played in months. Be lucky if I can give 50p for him. Pretty sure he said this Euros is his last tournament. Southgate did. If he did, I didn't see that. Level up. Give me some more of those yellows. Come on. Bring back Chris Smalling. Oh, I'm feeling I'm feeling a big card. I don't know why, guys. I'm feeling that we're gonna hit a hit a monster out of one of these. I don't know why. There's my super rare box. Oof, it looks nice, doesn't it? All right, rare boxes then. I'll do the super rare box in with the res. All right, this is a what's this? Is this is an elite box or a premium box? Never mind. Come on, give me a super rare or unique. Come on. Oh, it is not. I've got the little flares, man. Dumb me in. They dumb me in. Screw off. Dumb me in. All right, we've got a card. Come on. Be a beast. Lloyd Kelly from Bournemouth. Does Lloyd Kelly even play? I think he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. That's actually a decent little card to get. Nothing crazy, crazy, but not bad. That's our second card. Is he club captain, is he? Level up again. How many more we got? Just This is the last box. Damn. Well, two cards out of that. Not the worst, I suppose. Not the greatest weekend. If I don't win cash, it's like kind of kind of a bit painful. But for this uh, for this upcoming game week now, we've got a nice little start. Ter Stegen, Cancelo, Gundogan, and Lever all start. The Young starts, but I didn't put him in. So he's coming back from injury, so I don't know if I can risk it. I like that Barcelona lineup. That looks strong. Probasi is good. Young, but he's good. Lamine Yamal is also very good. Rafinha is having a cracking season. He's coming to Newcastle on a summer in a free. Oh, is that right? I'll hold on to him then. Yeah, Gundogan's so good, man. And with Frankie back in now, Frankie's been injured for about five or six games, but with him back now as well, I, I look at uh, PSG's team. Fabian Ruiz, don't know. Marquinhos come back from injury. I'm not a big fan of Nuno Mendes. Hakimi's been a bit hit and miss this season as well, to be fair. Pereira's very good. Zaire Emery's good as well. That front line's dangerous. Barcola's a good player as well. But with that being said, guys, Champions League kicks off in 30 minutes. I'm going to go and sort myself out some food before watching it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the Champions League too. And hopefully if you've got so rare stuff going on, it works out well for you. And uh, let's just hope that uh, England do the right thing, right? But for today, 